Hello, you guys. Welcome to another episode of 13 Sentinels Ages from. Uh, my name is Sword Tell Me. We're going through another one. Uh, this is uh, Ogata. Uh, we did him last time. He's going through a Groundhog Day scenario, if you've ever watched that movie. So, uh, we had a lock on him right now, but since we've already done the entirety of the first area, we can just go ahead and unlock this. And I kind of just want to... I, I know it's just like marathoning this one dude, but... I mean... <laughs> I don't know where the problem is. I don't see any problem. I think it's pretty cool. I guess when you put it like that... Okay. So, as well as being here last time, we did... Since we are in a Groundhog Day scenario, we are constantly reliving the same moment in time again and again to eventually find a key, quote-unquote. What this key does... I don't know what, what this key will eventually do, I don't know. Uh, but we do know, at least from what I have gathered, gathered uh, the story hasn't said it out right yet, but the voice on the other end, whenever Ogata is going back uh, into this futuristic like space void, uh, I feel like it's Tsukasa Okino. Now whether that's sure or not, I don't know. So, with that all in mind, let's keep going through this. We've listened to all of this before. And now, we are at a divergence right now where we have gone through the two paths right here. But there's one more. And what I think it has to do with is Juro. Because he was the other character that we have not really touched in this whole like scenario. Because we've gotten Kisaragi off and done her whole thing. We've done everything with Fuyusaka. So, let's see what we can do. That was weird. Oh, yeah. Okay, I haven't thought about this since we did it. Why did I think Fuyusaka looked like that League of Darkness lady? I don't know I'm not seeing things right. It doesn't matter if we run. We never make it out in time. We only got a couple minutes until they ruin this place. Even if I told someone about this, nobody would believe me. Hey, where are you going? Yo. Ogata-kun. What are you doing? Usami-chan. You trying to pick on Iori now? No, not really. That Please, wasn't my intention. Kisaragi. Yeah, that wasn't my intention. Just relax for a sec. What? I'm begging you here. <sighs> Can't talk to League of Darkness. <laughs> You're the League of Darkness. So, that League of Darkness version of you. I mean, that's... <laughs> okay, what's your connection to that black cat suit lady? League of Darkness? What are you talking about? Damn it, I sound like a total loon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but... but... <laughs> I've already asked you about the king. Oh, God. What? Alright. Let's move back. We gotta find some way to get to Juro. And I forget what the trigger is. You're but... acting kind of weak. Yeah, it's really getting to me. <laughs> He's like, I'm going insane, man. I don't know what to do. I'm already sick of all this shit. <laughs> I feel... But... What can I do? anything at this point. Can I go in to Okino? No, I'm just messing with the Ori again. Oh god, what are you- Yeah, okay. Heard. This is this. Try to run? You think I'd run from you? Huh? I just want to see him beat him up again, honestly. <laughs> I already asked you about a key. Yeah, I'm not running for you. Nope! Oh, hey, this 
this your bitch? Is this your bitch? You trying to score with this little. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, it's like, alright. Stop it. Alright. Huh? If you didn't keep pissing me off, this wouldn't keep happening. Damn it! The train's already here. I'm gonna go. Okay. Put the first train to us. I have a clue. I have a clue. Assuming this train's on in time, I would hope. If not, then. That League of Darkness lady. She said something weird when she had me at gunpoint. She said I was the one who had this key in the first place. But none of this is ringing a bell. Can't figure this out. Mm. Who even is that voice? How'd I end up in this mess? Where the hell was I? It was like... I don't know. I feel like I saw it on some UFO show. Like an alien lab or something. It looked just like that. I was... butt naked too. Mm. Hey, where are you going? Hey, uh... You don't look so good. Oh, <laughs> what was the, what was the determining quality? Seriously, you're being really weird. I don't know what you want from me, lady. I'm trying to let the train go. We run. That was weird. Yo. I mean, the, you told me something like I used to carry this key, right? Ogata kun. Ah, damn it. Okay, so you haven't said it yet. You know what I'm saying, right? I just want to know what it all means. I really don't know what you're talking about. God, we sound like a lame like Man, you. this shit's so hard to explain. I understand. No one's gonna leave. The train's leaving soon. Let's go. Uh-huh. Whoa! Hi. Hey, it's Shinonome Senpai. You're here too? Shinonome Senpai. Uh. Senpai. Might as well. You don't have some kind of key on you, right? Though I guess it's not really a normal key. Probably. <laughs> uh. Man, how do I say this? A key? Yeah, a key. Shouldn't we call someone over? Someone like who? Like a station worker? Eh, uh, waste of time. <laughs> Why's that? It's just gonna throw us back to the beginning. <laughs> hey, what's going on? He's with like, you? don't worry about it. I've done this like five times now. What? Something's up. Can uh, we go after her? Yeah. Hey. Duh, oh, she's train. the only one we haven't done yet! Bye, Kisaragi! Alright. Let's go check out where she is. What's up with ya? Oh. Hey! Oh. What happened? Okay. Why is A and Ryoko here? 
Shinono, my senpai. Are you okay? Must have been her symptoms again. Looks like she passed out. Who is this guy? This guy, too. I know him. You know Sekigahara? Yeah! From back in the ruined city. Oh, oh wait, are we gonna run this? Why is he with her? Why are they both knocked out? The hell happened here? Something in his hand. Oh, God, I would look behind you, my dude. DD426? That's some kind of medicine? Label's not telling me much. That's poison. Uh, hi? That's a way to introduce yourself. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. It was meant to poison the D-forces. They ended up as collateral damage. What are you talking about, old man? <laughs> it sounds like you know about Shinonome-kun's condition. So you should already understand. The symptoms she endures come from that poison. Their nanomachines are infected. They're beyond saving. But even with all their sacrifices, they cannot stop the D-Force's attack. You keep talking about these D guys. These old D guys. That's all the big mecha kaiju, right? A living apocalypse. <laughs> I love how he can just like tilt his glasses down and the sun rays just like beam off. Born in our future, crossing time. Even to when it's moonlight. Us. It all comes down to 15 teenagers. The commanders of the D-Forces. Ninji Ogatakun. It is a curse. One we cannot escape. Yo, this has really freaky vibes and I'm digging it. Where's all this weird shit coming from? Who even are you? It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just a man in the past now. <sighs> but it was never the Kaiju. The problem. The true blot on this world was always the D-Force's creator. It's us. Mankind was the cancer all along. People are turning into other people. It's really freaky shit. You need to take a closer look. This isn't going to end until you find it. So smart. Search everywhere. Beat people up if you need to. Whatever it takes. Wait! Why are you doing this? I know that guy. Yeah. He was with Fuyusaka. Okay. To be continued, heard. Ah, nice. Got 50%. Hey, we finally get to find out why are you so, like, messed up everywhere. Like, it looks like you have a sprained arm. You have a bandage around your head and neck and body. Like, she must have gotten into a car accident or something. Or, like, uh, I don't know. All right. I mean, we're, we can still go with Nenji, so let's go. Hmm. I guess when you put it like that. 
<laughs> okay, cool. They're just taking us onto an entirely separate one. All right. Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. All right, I get it. Hmm? Just don't move from here. Not one <laughs> step. He's like, listen, I'm not to know. Don't move. Hey, you. You, you, you don't move. I want to ask you something. If you knew the world was going to end in a couple of minutes, how would you spend them? Uh, where's all this coming from? <laughs> well, you see, I've been really living it over and over and over. I just want to know how you feel. Well, a few minutes, huh? That's not a lot of time. Well, uh, I can't really get anywhere in a few minutes. So I guess I spend them with you. Oh, oh sweet. <laughs> I'll just be a second. I just need you to wait here for me. That okay? <sighs> Fine. That was really sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, yes, you. I'm coming around for you. Real quick. So the world's gonna end. And it's all because of these 15 people. Because they're sending out this command to the kaiju? Do I even believe this crazy shit? <laughs> Why should I trust that shady egghead? I saw that person trying to order me around in the capsule. I only caught a flash, but it's that guy hanging out with Fuyusaka. Oh, Ogata-kun! What's wrong? Out of my way. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Okino, you're the one. I saw you, you asshole. What are you talking about? Drop the act. How'd you put me in that capsule? <laughs> Dude, you're fighting you're fighting in front of not only Fuyusaka and Ogino, but in front of these two innocent people right here. <laughs> Why do you keep putting me back here? I really have no idea what you're saying. Bullshit, you don't! <laughs> we got two ways to do this, kid. Either you talk... I make you talk. I, uh... What's it gonna be? You think you can run? Uh-uh, no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you know, you asshole. What's going on here? Come on to you bastard. Get me out of this capsule thing. Capsule? Did he figure it out? What's our next move? Oh, shit. Ijiyama. Wait. You're the... Now I remember. Ijiyama. You came out of nowhere with that sucker punch. Oh, shit. I gave you plenty of warning. Don't act like I pulled some low down trick. It's not my fault if you can't take a punch. Damn. <laughs> He's awake. What do we do now? Don't worry about it. We're not done yet. Where am I? What's going on here? You don't have to know. You're going right back in. Ah, uh, no, I have a right to know. Fuck you. Okino, okay, you said you'd help us, right? Then you gotta do something before the attack hits. Can't you save any of the others? An attack? Wait, you mean those things are the true foes of the Sentinels? Exactly. What I need to find is the reason for the attack. So now we're here. 
trying to find the key that controls the D-forces. Okay. One person's commanding these kaiju to come here, right? One out of these 15 people? So you knew, yes. 15 children's lives were manipulated so that they would destroy the world. What? They broadcast command signals from their body, even if they don't want to or don't even know. Those signals create the kaiju and then beckon them here. Like the old guy was saying. So, are there lots of keys? No, just one. Out of all 15, only one has the key that controls them. League of Darkness. That League of Darkness lady said something about this. She said I was the one who had the key first. But I don't know anything about that. I don't remember anything anyway. Of course you don't. The control key is a code for a program. You're one of those 15 people. Up until two months ago, the commands were coming from you. Seriously? It was me? It used to be. Now, though, well, from what I hear, that had already changed by the time we caught you. Now, another person's got the key. And they're the ones sending out the signal to start an apocalypse. So it's changing from all the different protagonists. So anyone could have the key right now. <laughs> okay, so this key is actually a program. How do you even look for something like that? Well, to you, it'll look like a standard metal key. At least within that station. What do you mean? I need to see who got the control key after you. Huh? The idea was to just pull the data out of you. But whatever happened is really bound up in your personal memories. Which means you're the only one who can dig that information out. That's why you're in the chair, and I'm on the tech side. <laughs> That's why you're strapped down, and I'm not. I'm making it so you can find that key for me. Hold on a sec. You're telling me that whole station's... You've been in this chair this whole time. <laughs> that station is an illusion created from your memories. It's not even real. Nothing that you've said or anything is real then. You gotta be kidding. I see now. That's how you broke out of the simulation. Even I'm there at the station. You piggybacked on my access ID. Mm -hmm. I guess that'd get you clear of control. Well, I can fix that right now. Okay, now we're all on the same page. So, let's jump back in. Uh, hey, hold on! Don't Th squirm, trust me. You don't want that tech coming off by force. You might never wake up. <sighs> Find the key. My apologies for hitting you. Dude, you don't have to knock me out. You don't but have you to- You need to take this seriously. <sighs> if you want to be free, help us. That's your only option. <laughs> Just knocks him flat out. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that paints a, a pretty good picture for us. Alright. Alright, you guys. I think that's a good cap uh, for this episode. So uh, next time, we will do another new character. Or maybe continue off a new character. I don't know what I want to do yet. But we'll find out. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. I appreciate all the support you guys give me each and every day. I love you all. Be safe out there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.